Hi, welcome to Panasonic Quick Clips. Today, we'll be discussing the FX500 series fiber optic sensor and its built-in logic control functions. First, we'll go through some theory on how it works, and then we'll jump into some hands-on demonstration. Let's get started. Each FX500 sensor is equipped with an optical communication port located on its side that allows it to communicate with other amplifiers that are set adjacent to it. The built-in logic function utilizes this port to send the output data of the first sensor through to the second for analysis and judgment. Once configured, the logic output always takes place on output 1 of the downstream sensor. All other outputs, including output 2 of the downstream sensor, will remain in their standard configuration. There are three logic commands available in the FX500 series, AND, OR, and Exclusive OR. This chart shows a matrix on how the logic output operation is affected by the sensing status of sensors A and B. In the AND configuration, both A and B must be on to meet the requirement. For the OR configuration, A, B, or the combination of both A and B will allow it to activate. The exclusive OR configuration works similar to the OR configuration, however, if A and B are both on at the same time, the output will not be active. Now that we know the basics, let's go hands-on so we can learn how to configure and utilize this function. For this demonstration, I'm going to take two amplifiers and put them in an AND configuration, so that way the second amplifier only has its output fire if the output of the first one is as well. Now we're doing a communication downstream from the first to the second amplifier here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my Pro Modes, I'm going to select Pro 7. The first option here is Logic. This is what's going to give us our Logic commands. If I go in here, I can select between my AND, OR, and Exclusive OR options. For this demo, let's select AND. Now when I back out into my run mode, we're ready to do a detection. Now that we've selected the AND configuration, I can show you how this is working with a brief demonstration. If I block just the second amplifier, you'll notice that its value drops below the threshold, but the output never turns on. It's only until I block both amplifiers that the AND configuration is complete, allowing that second output to turn itself on. Now if we set this up in OR configuration, the first fiber or the second fiber block is going to allow the output of the second amplifier to turn on. So the first one or the second one. And lastly, set up in exclusive OR mode, the first fiber or the second fiber will allow the second output to turn on. However, if I block both fibers, that output will remain off.